is you look at this market, though, let's break this down. So this is a market where it's kind of the tale of two tapes. You mentioned earlier with the Dow making new highs, you also have transports making new highs. So you put that into a technical context and you've got Dow theory starting playing out and suggesting, again, you've got more upside from here. But the tail of two tapes is the most interesting part because below the surface, there's a lot of movement going on. First, you've got the reflation trade happening. So what you're seeing happening here is more stimulus coming into the market, the $1.9 trillion getting spent. That is leading to a backup in 10-year bond yields. And again, that's a trend that I don't think is going to stop. And I'll touch on that more in a second. But that's a big positive for the financial sector. You also then have on the second side of the two tail tape here, you've got the reopening trade happening and you're seeing the consumer cyclical sector working. And you're also seeing the energy sector picking up in terms of uh, overall performance. So you got this tail of two tapes, Brian, playing out, leading to this turbulence underneath the surface, pushing up the overall averages. Yeah, and you're right. We do think that we can get to 42.25 by year end, but I'm not sure you're going to get there in a linear manner. Because as rates start to push up, you are going to see some of these higher multiple areas of the market or long duration parts of the equity market probably start to see a compression in terms of the multiple. Take, for instance, the NDX, okay. the NASDAQ 100. You've already had a correction there. You also look at the biotech index with the uh, XBI, and that's been off 26 percent from the highs. So, again, expect more rotation in this market, Brian. All right, let's get individual names here, Craig, because that's what we like to do, get the pencils or pens or computers ready, whatever it might be. And you talked about energy, oil and gas. That has been the surprise performer of the year. PXD, Pioneer Natural, the CEO, Scott Sheffield, a frequent guest on CNBC, probably the smartest guy in oil out there. You like that stock. Absolutely, Brian. If you come back and you look at not only Pioneer, but the entire sector, most portfolio managers are underexposed to the energy sector, and that's going to have to change as oil prices continue to move higher. I look at a long-term setup in terms of oil, Brian, and you could be well north of 100, you know, looking out uh, 6, 9, 12 months from now if you look at a point-and-figure chart on some of these things. Pioneer Energy specifically is a big long-term downtrend reversal where you've made this classic higher low on the charts. This is a stock that I think people are going to have to step up and buy the high-quality names in energy. Brian, I'd also, also mentioned if you look at the financial... Mercantile Exchange. Yeah, C I just going to mention yeah, we, we, don't, we talk a lot about the, the exchange. We don't talk a lot about the stock. What makes CME right. look good to you, Craig? So it looks like a huge base in the making and a big longer term downtrend reversal for the CME. This is, again, one of these classic plays here that if we are going to see a pickup inflation, commodity prices moving higher, I think the CME is going to uh, benefit very nicely from those trends. So what I've been trying to do is look at some of these areas, sort of avoid the REITs. Look at things like Visa, MasterCard. Also look at the banks and look at things like CME that should benefit from some of these rotational changes in the market. Finally, a name that, that is new to me. It sounds like something you might put in your dryer, but it's not. Apparently, it's a global <laughs> engineering and manufacturing company, Fabrinet. So here is another example. We've gone through, we've lived through this pandemic for a year. It's very clear that a lot of people are going to continue to keep working from home. And one of the shortfalls for people has really been bandwidth, kind of that last mile bandwidth. Fabernet has got equipment and products in place to really help alleviate some of these bandwidth, bandwidth issues as they put the fiber optics in place and start to light more fiber and perhaps even bring fiber to the home for a lot of people. So stocks like Fabernet to me look like you've made this nice base on base, you're breaking out, starting to make a another leg higher in here. And then, Brian, lastly, I would just mention to you, as you create this kind of balanced portfolio, some offense in here, and then also think about some of the defensive names, mm -hmm. look at stocks like Altria, ticker MO. Great long-term multi-year downtrend reversal with a great dividend yield. For those individuals watching this morning that are looking for some income and yield, that would be one name to take a look at. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.